Howdy Texans, my name is Riley Gaines. Uh, this past May, I just recently graduated from the University of Kentucky where I swam there. I was able to finish my career as a 12-time NCAA All-American, a five-time SEC champion, an SEC record holder in the 200 butterfly, and a two-time Olympic trial qualifier. But all that to say, it's far from easy being successful at such an elite level. It's a lifelong journey. I grew up swimming, I started swimming at the age of four, and so for nearly 20 years, I dedicated my whole life to the sport. At the collegiate level, you're practicing almost six hours every single day in the water. So it's a lot. There's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of sacrifices that it takes to get there. But I had made it my goal to compete with the world's best, and that's exactly what I did. Um, this past November, I was competing. It was my senior year, and I was ranked third in the country behind one amazing female athlete that I was very familiar with and one name I had never heard of. And this is the first time I became aware of a swimmer named Leah Thomas. For all I knew at the time, Leah Thomas was a swimmer, a girl from the University of Pennsylvania who came out of nowhere their senior year to post the fastest times in the nation in multiple events. A few days after these nation leading times were posted, an article was posted disclosing that Leah Thomas was formerly Will Thomas and swam three years on the men's side at UPenn. When I found this out, I was shocked, but honestly, I was relieved because I thought there was no way the NCAA would allow this person to compete with us in the females category at our national championships. And especially considering the fact that not even a year prior when Leah Thomas was competing on the men's team, Leah was ranking in the 500s and 600s as a male. I was clearly proven wrong. Um, the NCAA announced three weeks before we were meant to compete this past March that Leah Thomas would be competing with the women. That first day, Leah competed in the 500 freestyle, beating out all the women for a national title. By seconds, body lengths even, Leah was beating Olympians and American record holders, the best to ever swim in America, the best females to ever swim. That next day, Leah and I competed in the 200 freestyle, and we tied for fifth place. Upon tying, we go behind the awards podium where the NCAA official looks at me and says, great job, you guys tied and we don't account for ties, so we're going to give the trophy to Leah. I look at him and I say, okay, I understand you don't account for ties in terms of trophies, but can I ask you why you're adamant on giving this trophy to Thomas? And he looks at me and says, well, for photo purposes, Thomas has to hold the trophy. It was at this point that I realized what was happening. Um, not only were we being forced to compete against biological men and change in a locker room with biological men who still had full male genitalia, we were being sidelined to biological men, which of course, is the exact opposite of what Title IX was created to protect. We were doing a 180. We were putting ourselves back 50 years to before Title IX and before it was created. Um, and this is really when I took it upon myself to start speaking out because I realized if we as women can't stick up for ourselves, how can we expect someone else to? Because up until this point, we were waiting for a coach or someone with some sort of power to make a change to stand up for us, but of course that's not what we were seeing. Since this happened this past March, an influx of similar stories have been happening all across the country in all kinds of sports at all ages. It's happening at a rampant rate and it's totally underreported. Texas is fundamental in getting this bill passed. We need full protection for Texas female athletes in regards to their privacy and their safety and their opportunities to succeed in sports. It's time Title IX is restored for athletes across the nation and especially across Texas. Keep up the fight, keep continuing to fight for female athletes like myself, like your daughters, like your sisters, and like your mothers. We appreciate it. Thank you, Texas. Let's save women's sports this year.